Hello everyone. Thank you for watching this HEDX tutorial about magnetic campus calibration. Today we will show you how to calibrate magnetic campus in the outfield. For safety and convenience, please remove the propeller before calibration. Choose an open outfield for calibration and keep away from metal objects such as vehicles. Operators cannot carry mobile phones and keys. First, power up the drone. Connect the radio to the ground control station and open the software. You can use Window Plus D to quickly display the desktop. Then open the master parameter tuning software. The software will automatically recognize the drone. Wait for the parameter download to be completed and go to the compass calibration page. Leave the drone off the ground first. Click the Start Calibration button. Let the drone rotate in the horizontal direction, clockwise or counterclockwise. Don't spin too fast. Try to keep the drone maintain level state. When the calibration progress reaches between 30% and 35%, change to airframe side points to the ground. Keep spinning. At this moment, try to keep the drone sideways and straight down, perpendicular to the ground. Channel 1 represents the data collected by the built-in magnetic compass. Channel 2 represents the data collected by the external magnetic compass. When the progress reaches between 60% to 65%, replace the airframe with the vertical direction pointing to the ground. Keep spinning. At this time, keep the drone heading straight down. Attention please! There are a circle and two straight lines. Try to keep the completeness of the circle and straightness of the string line during rotation. Put down the drone after displaying pass. The standard is that both channel 1 and channel 2 are displayed pass. Click on End Calibration. After calibration, please re-energize the drone. Here are some examples of failed calibration. The first one is a metal object nearby caused the calibration progress to be interrupted. The second reason is too much shaking during calibration. The collected data is not round enough or straight enough. The third reason is the operator may have carried metal objects such as keys. Circle and straight line display are fine, but the calibration is still not completed. The fourth reason is Channel 2 does not show progress. Anyway, all of the above situations failed. You need to recalibrate. Alright, that's all for today's tutorial. In the next tutorial section, we will show you how to set up the parameters of remote control. Thank you for watching.